What age did you start getting into football hooliganism stuff? The hooligan so, stuff. The football stuff. Um, football stuff. I must have been about. I, I was I, the first incident was about fourteen. That's young. Yeah, but I didn't really. I weren't really proper in the mix. It was just sort of like me. Just, Running because Tottenham back in the day, Tottenham, when when I was younger, Tottenham used to just go off like every big game it would go off on the height. There'd be hundreds of geezers out there just pro- and it was like compared to now, there's the chat the scene's changed a little bit. There's a lot of divs about now. You go there now, and there's a lot of a lot of wallies floating about. Back then, it was just proper like men. Do you know what I mean? Like they used to all like naughty Mars bars across their face and everyone just. I don't know, maybe it's like, maybe because I was younger, but they all, everyone just looked like they was bang up for it. Do you know what I mean? And um, Nowadays, there's it's a lot of the scenes change a little bit. There's still like hardcore elements within firms, but there's a lot of people that just go dressing all the gear. But no actually, idea. Yeah, exactly. All the gear, no idea. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So what it's changed a lot. Do you think the films could the films played a part in that though? Yeah, probably. Yeah, and then obviously the old bill as well. They, the old bill have, have got a thing against football fugs where they just they just go after them. It's an easy target, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like a lot of lads, they get pissed up. They throw a few punches on the camera and. The old bill of football, they just, like, for one punch, they're trying to give you two, three years. Like, people have got mortgages and whatever, and then the proper people end up slipping off and thinking, swerve this, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, Tottenham and West Ham had a round 2009 uh, at Mile End, and it's the, not even a punch was thrown. The old bill were in between it. Verbals and a few bottles thrown either way. Everyone that was there got birded. About 60 geezers must have got birded. Like, not even a, for not even a punch thrown. But that has a trickle-down effect on, 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 a, on both firms because you think if they think oh we can get birded for that without throwing a punch then like do you know what I mean flipping just association though. yeah now people are like thinking nah, fuck that. like people who would have gone normally are thinking I've got a house I've got kids I, I I can't risk it anymore do you know what I'm saying when did you start moving through the ranks then for <coughs> yeah so stuff? yeah so about probably when I was about 19 18 I was still I was coming up up, up through the ranks I was doing doing a few a few things had a few rounds but I got banned pretty early I got banned when I was like 17 for Tottenham Arsenal and Tottenham Cardiff at home. And uh, I got nicked and um, I actually got, um, I was in court on the day my daughter's daughter was born. And I had to rush through the court case. I was in Hammersmith Youth Offending Court and I had to rush back to the, other, the hospital, which was on Duquesne Road in Shepherd's Bush to get there, to get there in time for my daughter's birth. But um, so I always remember my ban started on the day of my daughter's How birthday. long was the ban? It was a three year ban. Do you think that was a sign from the gods? I don't know. It's Get fucking, your shit together. You've got a newborn here, uh, mate. Do you know what it was? I will tell you what, like you see the banning all this. I don't know. It's a bit of like of a. It was a bit like I'm banned. If anything, it give an you a extra bit of stripe. A, yeah, it was a bit like you know when they used to give kids asbos, mm-hmm. and they'd be like, oh, he's got an asbo. Like he's a, yeah, just uh, it's almost like it was like an identification thing, and it yeah, it was like an extra extra strap. Can you still get into the games though when you were banned? No, nah, because they had the they had the these football spotters, and they just like they were just red hot. Like they just knew like. From straight away they knew your address. They probably knew my shoe size. These, these, these. Like they, yeah. they, they was like a couple of them. Like one called Richardson. He was actually, he was actually a jock as well. <laughs> <laughs> he was one of yeah. your ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he, uh, mate. He, this geezer, uh, Creasy Richardson, mate. He had, I don't know. It's like he's one of these coppers who I just used to think didn't. You, I don't think. He, I, I think he used to go home and just ignore his missus and just sit there <laughs> just watching <laughs> watching pictures of us because yeah. he knew everything. Like, and mm. he wouldn't let up. He'd like we, we would have a row in like we had a row with, with Portsmouth in um, in Waterloo Station, and it was their young lot. And we smashed the granny out of them. And they they was they they was um well, I was I was with uh, one of my one of the main Tottenham old lot geezer called Swaney, and we was walking into this in, walking into this into the station, and um. Uh, I remember, I remember walking to the we thought, oh, we're going home, thought we're leaving to go home. And uh, the boys have ended up b- bucking up with uh, these Pompey lot outside. And Portsmouth were getting run into the stage. They was getting done into the station. Me and Swain were in the stage. I'm like, what's all that commotion? And uh, they've come running to the station and uh, flipping, they, as they're run, getting run into the station, I can hear them going, Stan, Portsmouth. Stan, it's only Tottenham. And I've gone, only Tottenham? I said, we're fucking here, you can't bang. Uh, Going into him from behind him, and my mate Swain, he's gone stop, and uh, he's gone look. He goes look. There was smudges everywhere. He's in uh, Waterloo Station. There was cameras all over the gaff. Oh, Bill coming! I thought feet. He pulled me away. Thought fighting anyway. All them not come in and absolutely iron them out. Just clean the floor of them. It was uh, the FA Cup semi final, and um, yeah. Anyway, slipped off. Thought you saucy cunts. Only talk. Yeah. <laughs> you look like happy, bro. When you speak about it, I mate. Do you know what it is? Yeah, <laughs> do you know what it is. I tell you what, like. I got, I got, went away for it, but it was like at the same time, it was going away for it was 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 bad, was bad times. But then, 
when I was doing when I was going active, it was some of the some of the funnest times. Like the buzz that I was used to get from it was just some. It was some of the best days. Like some of the best days. And the comradeship, my mates, and that. It was my, some of my best mates, the good, best people that I've met were, were down there. Proper good people, you know. Like and coming from a, you know, like I used to I used to look at it like this. Coming from a manner that I come from. Like if I put 20 quid on the table, 20, 20 grand on the table and left the room and went out to the shops, there ain't many bods that I could really come back and say, oh, that 20 quid would still be there or they'd still be there. But at football, there was a lot of bods that I could name that I could leave that 20 quid on the table, go to the shops and come back and it'd still be there. And for me, that sense of loyalty and comradeship was was um, was was it meant a lot to me, do you know what I mean? Because in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a world that you come from where a lot of people are snaky, do you know like what I mean? Brotherhood. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, How was it then? What was your first proper tear up? What was the buzz like for you? Um, yeah, the buzz was on, like the first proper proper one. Were you scared? Uh, nah, because it was it was probably our, our, I weren't really scared. It was probably our, Arsenal. We, we played Arsenal in a in a, in, a, in a cup, and they come in a boozer and um, and it's, we we scored. We had our back turn. We couldn't get into the ground. We tried to double up to get into the ground, and we had our back turn to to watching the screen, and they come they've come through. And attacked us, attacked us from behind. A few people got decked. Anyway, I seen one of them drop on the floor, and I absolutely ironed him out with a, this this bar stool, and, and um, cut his whole head open. A couple, uh, one of his two of his mates tried to come drag him out, and I was doing them with the bar stool on their back. And uh, my, another geezer called pa, uh, my mate Palmer. He's a big, uh, big, big fellow with big hands, and that. He's, uh, he was just, he was just. He was just like a like a just ironing people out. He's, he's just like you know one of them geese is just he, he just decks people wherever he, wherever he lands on. He's decking them. Do you know what I mean? There was a few other bods in there that could have a row, and they ended up coming unstuck. But there was only about a handful of us, like ten of us, and uh, they got done and that. But it was just there was no time to really be scared. It was like it was just so so fast, and it was like do you know we're, we're getting we're getting done here. Do you know what I mean? You have to quickly come in come into action. Like it wasn't really a thing where we. There's other rows that I've come to where. You, you turn up and there's a mob in front of you and it's like you're walking into and that's the time where you have time to to think about being mm. scared and that do you know what I mean like I had a we had a row with um with, with Wolverhampton, Wolverhampton Wanderers and um I ended up coming becoming best mates with with their um with their main geezer after he's a lad called Denny and um me and him lock horns in that row and we had a little toe to toe we ended up becoming best mates off of it, which is fucking so how does that work then? Like, <laughs> does that happen? Is that allowed? Yeah, like, do you know what it is? It's like, do you know, like, like that, this particular row that we had with them, with um, Luton Lute, 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 Lute Town had a little firm, and their little young lot used to come to Spurs, and um, they we used to get on with them. That's just because, like, I don't know, there's a lot of Tottenham fans that come from like Bedfordshire and other little counties around London. So we used to have a friendship with them, and they, they used to come with us. We used to bring sort of like 10, 15 young lot to, to our, our, our games and that. And he used to have a, a lad called Bats that was running there, little young lot, and I used to be pals with him and whatnot. And um, anyway, they, they was playing Wolves, and um, I knew a few Wolves lads. And um, obviously, we got it all, we got it all organised. In a, it was all off the off the, off the grid from the old bill and that, far far away from the ground. Like, and um, and uh, Wolves were like, yeah, yeah, we're coming. Anyway, he's in this. We, uh, I brought about ten of my Tottenham young lot come up. So there's about ten of us. There's about 20, 25 Luton in this boozer. And about half the Luton lot said that the older Luton like lads who were like bit bit old, we was like younger, they was a bit old, like in their twenty nine, thirty, and they they was like, oh, we've heard that they're they're somewhere else. We're going. So I was like, nah, nah, nah. I said, look, they they're coming. I said, I know they're coming. They they are coming. Do you know what I'm saying? They're like, nah, nah, nah. They they're they're somewhere else. We're we're off. So they've slipped. So I'm thinking, fuck you know, like our numbers dwindled by about half, and like they all their mob was coming. Do you know what I mean? So I was thinking like. What are we gonna do now? Do you know what I mean? So we thought, fuck it, we've got what we got here. There's about twenty of us there or whatever, and um, we just got to run with it. And I remember, uh, so we're walking up. So we was in the town centre. We're walking up to a boozer closer to where they've got to got to come to get get off the off the off the rattler. And uh, yeah, so we're walking up there, and uh, we all split up into fives. And then the next thing, I got a call from someone saying they've just come off the train. But we all split up into fives to get to this spot so we didn't attract attention from like cameras or whatever. Walking up the road. And so they come off the train, and so I'm like, yeah. And my mates who, who, who was on the phone said they, they were a fucking good mob. Like, there's a, like all their bods are here. So I was thinking, fuck. There's like four groups of five split up, and it's like we don't even know where everyone is. Like, it's like it's a shambles. And uh, but it, it, was, it was like a, it just sort of come together just at the right time. So like they were not coming out the station, walking up this road, and like we're now 
we've now sort of like managed to get about 15, 16 of us together now. We're on like a, a road parallel to the road that they're on. And like there's a little alleyway that can lead to where they are. So someone said, oh, they're through this alleyway. So we've gone through this alleyway and I could tell everyone was getting a bit, a bit nervy. Do you know what I mean? And I'm going, fucking, um, this lad that I was with, he had a bit of, like a bit of wood that he picked up. I said, get that to me, fucking get it to me. He's like, no, 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 no. He wouldn't give it to me. I'm like, having a tussle with him. I was like, you know, like I'm thinking, why are you going to take that bit of wet back for? If anyone's going to use it, it's going to be me. I said, like, anyway, he, he didn't give it to me. So I've gone, I've gone, fuck it. So I said, look, everyone I said, look, live and I said, we can do these. I was going, we can do these. And it's like, you know, like, everything about any type of violence is all psychological. I think mostly, like not all, but like 90% of it is psychological. Someone said that to me when I was younger and I think it's very true. And like, they were always coming out that alleyway and I was going, we can do these. I was like, we can fucking do these. I was like, we can do these. I, I don't think I might have been half convinced of myself. <laughs> I looked around, I looked around and like, everyone was proper young. Yeah. I was thinking, we're going to get turned over here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck it, like, we can do it. So we are coming through this alleyway and um, as we've come out of this alleyway, I've looked at the end of the road and they just filled the, they just filled, they just filled the road up at the end of the road. But they had, they had our backs turned to us, so they was walking going the opposite way. And I've gone, hey! I said, we're here. And um, I turned around, I said, live and yourselves up. I said, come on, get out of the fucking alleyway. So we're coming up coming up the road now, and they're all coming down the road. And um I'd picked out one of my one of my little pals before. I picked out one of my little pals before. Picked out I picked out one of my little pals before, his name's Dara, and I said, um, I said, today, I said, look, today you're, you're the man. I said, I knew he was a game little youngster. I said, just stick by me. I said, back me up. I said, trust me. I said, we're going to, I said, you'll make yourself into a legend today. I said, stick by my side anyway. Come out the alleyway, he's by my side. Right there, I thought, yeah, that little speech, that little, mm. that little two little second prep talk, yeah. it, done, it done it nice. So he, we come out the road and straight away, they've come into us. I've put this bottle straight through this geezer's nut straight away. I thought, right, I'm going to up one of these badly first and set the tone, do you know what I mean, for the day. So I put this bottle through this geezer's face, but like, right straight through but like hard and it's all the glass was shattered into my hand cut all my hand up but his face is gone he's gone ah, like that's fucking screaming he's run back into the into the melee then my mate Darius ironed one of them out next to me so I thought well, we're, we're doing all right now. <laughs> here we go I mean, this is it it's, 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 it's unfolding to plan but they've got about 40 geezers in there they're a good firm and then like what we're doing like they're coming into us we're doing them we're doing them like as everyone's coming there's six of us every time one of them come forward six of us are just going bang 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 we're banging them back and they're running back into the crowd another one would come forward but then in the end it just started it's about six seven minutes in they started to sort of come where they was the tide was turning slightly and i thought well because we was bashing them for about six minutes and um and then like one of the one of their main lads is denny lad i've turned and like, i'm on the one side of the road and i've looked and I can see like fucking our, our bods on that side are struggling against this one geezer. I thought, who's this cunt? And they're going, Dante, they're going, Dante, help. So I'm going, I'm going, what? Just like, help, I've seen this geezer and he's, he's got this bat. And I just looked at him, I thought, I knew, I knew I should have had that bat. <laughs> like, from the start, I just knew you should have just given me that bat. I don't know how this wolves geezer has ended up with this bat. But he's moving to him with this bat. He's going, bang, bang, lacing them up and they're getting hurt like badly on that side. So I've come over there, me and him are squared up. He's fucking whacked me with a bat. I've whacked him back and we're growling, he's frothing each other and it's just gone off again. Bang, we've all gone into each other. And, um, and then like the old bull siren started coming, but they was edging it towards the end because like, I ain't going to come on anywhere and lie. You know what I mean? That, but for the first six minutes, we was doing them. So mm -hmm. call it what you want to call it. <laughs> I, 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 I want to call it a draw.